All right, everyone, we're going to start off by playing a quick little game. I'm going to tell you my dream that I had last night, and you're going to tell me exactly what it means, okay? Are you ready? Here, here's my dream last night. Last night, I was at a basketball game, and all of a sudden, Batman and Superman came in with Iron Man, and they were fighting and kicking and screaming, and all of a sudden, ants came out of the center of the basketball court. It was really nasty, and they're flying all over the place. They were the flying ants. Anyways, it was kind of gross. And then all of a sudden, chocolate syrup came dumping down off the, the ceiling onto the floor. It covered it all. What was it? What did I dream? What did it mean? Oh, 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 and I forgot to tell you this other part of the game. If you don't get the right answer, if you don't tell me exactly what it means, you're going to be thrown in the prison. I'm going to actually have the law enforcement come to your house and put you in jail. Okay, ready? You have a few seconds. Think about it right now. Okay, 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 fine. I'm not actually going to put you in prison if you don't know the dream. And actually, to be honest, it wasn't even a real dream that I had. Um, so, <laughs> sorry. But here's the deal. That'd be kind of crazy if I actually did that, right? If, if I told you a dream that you had no idea about and I actually made you interpret it right there in front of me or else you'd be thrown in the prison or even killed. That'd be kind of crazy, right? What well, actually happened many, many years ago where King did have a dream. And so what I want you to do right now is to pause the video, read this story, and answer these few questions to see what happened when the king posed this question and told the people, interpret the dream or else. See what happens, and then we'll talk about it when we're done. Man, I cannot believe that story where the king actually made them interpret the dream or else. And then Daniel interprets the dream, not be from his own wisdom, but from wisdom from God. And it kind of reminds us of the bottom line of the story. To stand up for what is right, get wisdom from God. We may not know how to answer each and every situation. That's why we need to go to God, the creator of all things, for wisdom. So I want to encourage you that in every situation that you encounter each and every day, that you turn to God and ask him for his guidance, for his wisdom, just like what Daniel did. I also want to be encouraging you to remember the Bible verse and be practicing that and memorizing it with your friends and your family. It's found in 2 Thessalonians 3.13. Don't ever get tired of doing the right thing. Don't ever get tired of doing the right thing. I hope that in each and everything that you do, you seek God and you never get tired of doing the right thing. Have a great week, everyone, and I'll see you next time.